While Ukraine's offensive operations in and around the Crimea region continue, two Russian warships were destroyed with the attacks on Crimea. Ukraine's recent strategies leave the Russians in a desperate situation. The Ukrainian army attacked the region with drones and their attacks were successful. The Russian army was caught unprepared for this attack, and air defense systems could not destroy Ukrainian drones. Drones easily approached and hit Russian ships. After the drone attack in the Feodosia region, the Ukrainian army organized an offensive operation against the main base of the Russian fleet in the Sevastopol region. The attack of the Ukrainian army, which attacked the base with the Neptune missile, was successful. Russian air defense systems could not shoot down the Neptune missile. Russia could not shoot down the missile, but the missile did not hit an important target and fell. After this incident, there was an attack that shocked Russia. Four Ukrainian speedboats infiltrated the Gulf and started hunting Russian warships. The Kamikaze drones that entered the region before could not be prevented by the Russian air defense system, and the drones hit the Russian attack boat. In a statement made regarding the attack, it was reported that the boats were carrying at least 100 kilograms of explosives. However, both Russian ships were successfully hit, and the first ship was sunk. The second ship was badly damaged, but did not sink. War analysts stated that these two Russian attack boats are very important and will be used in important operations in the Crimea region. The Ukrainian army neutralized these boats and caused a great loss to the Russians. It seems that the destructive operations carried out by the Ukrainian army in the Crimea region will continue. Every time the Ukrainian army attacks the Crimea region, Ukrainian leader Zelensky's words come to mind. Zelensky said the war started in Crimea and will end in Crimea. Along with these developments, there are new developments on other fronts. Intense clashes continue in Avdivka. It was reported that Russian forces organized offensive operations on the outskirts of the Stepova region and advanced in this region. Russian forces want to take control of this target and from here both to surround Avdivka and to reach the rear of the Ukrainian defense line. After the Ukrainian attacks, the Ukrainian general staff announced that the Russian attacks in the villages around Stepova and Avdivka were repelled. Ukraine announced that there were intense clashes in the region, but the Russians could not dominate the region. The Ukrainian army reported that a total of 35 Russian attacks were repelled on the Avdivka front, Novokalinove, Stepova, Sieverne, south of Tonenke, and east of Pervomaiske region. The Ukrainian army's active defense strategy in the region continues to be successful. In the Marinka direction, Russian troops carried out more than 10 offensive operations. The Ukrainian army has deployed defense blocks as strategic points in this region. For this reason, Russian attacks cannot penetrate the Ukrainian defense blocks. The Ukrainian army confirmed that it repelled 18 Russian attacks in this region. Ukraine's defense operations around Zaporizhia are also continuing successfully. The Ukrainian army announced that the Russians organized counterattack operations in this Robotina region, but these attacks failed. Ukraine's operations in the southern region leave the Russians helpless in the region. However, the Ukrainian army continues to accelerate offensive operations in the direction of Militopol, damaging Russian military personnel and equipment. The Ukrainian forces, which wear out the Russians along the front line, defeat the Russians in the region with the strategies they apply. Ukrainian army completed 1,092 fire missions on 11th of November. The Ukrainian defense forces continue offensive operations in the Militopol direction, inflicting losses of personnel and equipment on the occupying forces and wearing down the enemy along the entire front line, they wrote. Ukrainian forces completed 1,092 fire missions. Enemy losses amounted to 642 individuals, with 9 Russians surrendering into captivity. In total, 53 pieces of Russian military equipment were destroyed, 7 tanks, 11 armored combat vehicles, 8 artillery systems, 9 unmanned aerial vehicles, 15 special military vehicles, 3 pieces of special equipment, 3 ammunition depots were also destroyed, 37 pieces of military equipment of the enemy were also damaged. The number of soldiers lost by the Russian army during the war was 310,650. Do you think Russia will be able to continue the war while losing so many military personnel and equipment?